Russian hospitals run out of beds, stacks wounded soldiers on street. Due to the huge influx of wounded Russian soldiers, Rostov Hospital ran out of space, not only in the wards, but even in the corridors. So the administration decided to store wounded soldiers right on the street in front of the building. Shows a video posted on X. To prevent the Kremlin's cannon fodder from getting too upset while lying in the open air waiting to be medically treated, a special cultural program was organized for them. Russia is beginning to find itself being overwhelmed by the number of wounded soldiers returning from the front as reports indicate the Koti is running out of places to treat injured soldiers. A class disparity has emerged within the Russian military contrasting the fates of ordinary soldiers and the privileged elite. This divide has ignited widespread anger and criticism. Even among top-level troops who feel betrayed by their leadership during the ongoing battle over Ukraine. In a recent intelligence update, the UK Ministry of Defence detailed the existence of a specialised military unit, Bars Cascade, designed to recruit individuals from affluent and influential Russian families. This unit, primarily engaged in drone operations far from the front lines, offers a markedly different experience from the harsh realities faced by ordinary Russian soldiers. The use of ordinary Russians as cannon fodder while the privileged few secure safe billets in units like Bars Cascade exemplifies the deep-seated inequalities that persist in Russian society as a whole. As ordinary soldiers continue to face the brutal realities of war, the elite's ability to opt out of danger raises serious questions about how long Moscow can continue to mistreat ordinary citizens before facing a revolt. Ukrainian forces have begun to receive billions of dollars worth of Western military aid that has eased acute shortages of ammunition and armor, but Russia's bigger army continues to grind out territorial gains at a high cost on both sides. Russians penetrate into the rear of the Ukrainian armed forces through underground tunnels. Russian troops are digging underground tunnels to penetrate behind the front lines in Ukraine and attack Ukrainian positions, Newsweek reports, citing a statement from the Russian Defense Ministry. According to a Russian department report on Telegram, Russian assault units in the Donetsk Oblast captured a major stronghold of the Ukrainian armed forces on the eastern outskirts of the village of Pivnichno using an underground tunnel. The detachment's servicemen secretly cleared and used a tunnel more than three kilometers long along the Seversky Donetsk Canal and reached the rear of the well fortified stronghold with permanent firing points and underground shelters, the Defense Ministry said in a statement. After this, the Russians established a supply of ammunition, weapons, and food for the assault troops through the tunnel. As noted by the Russian Defense Ministry, Russian troops using the element of surprise completely captured the stronghold, forcing the enemy to surrender or leave their positions and retreat. This tactic of the occupiers is not new. Ukrainian forces reported on the use of dug tunnels by the Russians back in the fall of last year during the battle for Avdiivka. They dig them in close proximity to our positions. Firstly, this helps with camouflage. Secondly, they can suddenly appear near our positions, the Ukrainian armed forces stated at the time. As for the Russians' tactics, our war is often compared to World War I. On the Avdiivka front, the Russians have started using the tactic of digging tunnels. Anton Gotsukon, spokesperson for the Marko Bezruchko 110th Separate Mechanized Brigade, said on national television in October 2023, they're digging them close to our positions. First, this aids with concealment. Secondly, they can then unexpectedly emerge close to our positions, said Kotsukon. Our defense officers have also spotted the Russians using robotic vehicles that serve as remote-controlled vehicles. They're used to deliver ammunition. These are some sort of special vehicles. They're quite big and they can carry a decent load, the spokesperson added. 